Hello, this is Pastor Sandra Carlson Alexis from First English Lutheran Church in Baltimore. And this is another of our gratitude jar times. So um, just trying to remind people to keep track of some gratitudes and use that as a resource for the future. Store up your um, your good memories, your, your affirmations now because it, we all know winter can be difficult sometimes, um, especially with the pandemic. So this is our goal. And I encourage you to have a journal or a jar. And my gratitude for today, and it, I have to explain it because I don't want to be, I don't want it to sound ableist exactly. But my gratitude is um, eyes. So it's um, not that you have to be able to see physically, but be able to um to see God's, you know, what God wants. And so there are places in the Bible where we hear about eyes and seeing, and it's, and it's literally um, sight related. And there are other places where it's also sort of spiritual. And so what I'm thinking about, especially is in first Samuel, we hear about Eli who is older and he's blind, but it's, um, I think his physical blindness, which is what we assume, is nothing compared to his spiritual blindness. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. So there's just one verse from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 15. Eli was 98 years old, and his eyes were set so, so that he could not see. And then throughout what we hear about Eli, he doesn't understand God. He doesn't see God's presence. God doesn't talk to him. God talks to other people. It's like um, he's cut off. And so when I say eyes, I... Um, I'm saying the ability to see God and to use our whatever um, whatever we have, whatever resources we have, you, you don't have to be able to see in order to see God. You don't have to be able to smell in order to, to um, or, or touch or taste. It's nothing about all of those different senses, but it's an awareness and an appreciation of God. And so I'm, I am grateful for eyes and um we use this term a lot right now, now that I think of it. We say, I'm woke, or he's woke, or the idea is like, have you opened your eyes? Do you see? Do you understand? And so being awake or, or using your, your eyes is a way to to recognize where where God is or what's going on in the world, and we need to have that clarity. And especially, as again, I'm saying spiritual clarity. It's what we really, really need. And so that is going to be my gratitude, um, eyes in quotation marks, but um, the uh, clarity of, of vision of for God. So that kind of thing. Um, and now we're going to have a prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for showing us things that we could not see before. We thank you for revealing yourself in ways that surprise us. We just need to pay attention, Lord. We have to look around our world or or experience you know our world in a different way to in order to see all the places where there is hurting and brokenness, but also all of the ways where you are offering healing and hope. And we thank you for the good news that comes from Jesus Christ. This is a, a true gratitude that we can use whatever senses we have in order to find you and to learn about you. These things we pray in your name. Amen. All right. Blessings.